Hey guys, if you're here to get the five digit entry code for your keypad, fast forward to the 10 minute, 15 second mark guys. And it's been a while since I've been, it's been a while since you guys seen the, the Ford Edge. And has been running great so um, I believe the last thing that you guys saw from this car was um, that and this and I still need to fix the dent but I got all the plastics inside all of them I'm still missing the thing that goes right here that hooks into that to open it um, with the remote control but Oh, and this this thing also. This is, um, is from a different car. This one from a, from a 2010. Everything on the back here is from a 2010, but it fits perfect except this because the 2010 didn't have the the um I believe this speaker or not all of them, but the car that I bought this from didn't come with the with this. You know, it wasn't for a speaker. It had like a storage. It got like a little storage thing inside, so I had to remove that. So now I gotta find a way to make this thing look better. Another thing that that was done to the car was oh well this of course all the plastics. I'm still missing the wiper and the motor. And this is another thing that one that was done to it. The rear view camera. View camera works great as you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna change the oil. It's about that time back again, and I'm missing the uh, the rear um, the backup sensors. So. I still need that plastic on top to the cover for the lights. I've just been forgetting about it. Um, like right now I remember and then like five minutes after I forget about it. So then I keep remembering every time I see it. But this is a nice car guys. It's a really nice car. Um, oh and about those plastics. Those plastics on the back. And all these plastics, remember guys, that um, I can't remember, but it was like around 400 bucks um, for this side and then 400 bucks for this side. So for both of these, for this one and for that one was 800 bucks. So, and plus all these stuff, I need to put a spare tire down there. So I still needed to get, you know, 800 bucks for these plus this, the board and all these plastics underneath. This one also, this this top one. So I ended up paying uh, what was it, 408 with taxes. That's include that includes taxes in Fresno um, for everything, guys. So everything. But like I said, it was it was for a, from a 2010. So I made that work. I still need to get a the switch that goes right here. Um, this one works, but honestly, guys, I paid. I I actually paid just like one of these plastics and got the rest of the stuff free, which that wasn't the case. But I mean, everything basically that's what it is. 
I paid four hundred and ten dollars, four hundred and eight. I mean, four hundred and eight for everything. Everything. The review, the review camera was um, thirty something dollars from eBay. And um, yeah, guys, and I, I, I don't think you could really beat that price. And if you do, well, man, that's really good for you guys. But I like it. I saved myself a lot of money. So now I'm going to head to the store and uh, buy the oil. You guys haven't noticed it? There's something pretty cool that you can see right here behind me. Um, I'm not going to tell you yet, but um, the car, the red car, is turned the other way around. How did I move it? That's the thing. And that's pretty cool. I, I'm not going to go into further details. I'm just going to let you guys uh, see that for now. What we were doing, um, changing the radio in the car. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's a little still dripping a bit. But before I put the before I put the bolt back on. I'm gonna use a quart and just drip it on, pour it, pour it all in. It's a lot more clear now, so got most of that old oil out. So now I'm ready to put the bolt back on. to recycle the oil guys it's very important put it back in one of those containers that you just bought and take it back to the to your auto parts store they take all the oil back and if you got something better to do with it which I don't
I didn't have the code for this, um, but I found it. Um, so this might help a lot of you guys. So as you can see, it works. Um, I was thinking about, you know, because I've been looking at, at the, I, I was I was looking all over and trying to find, uh, you know, the code. And a lot of places say that I had to pay like a hundred dollars, you know, to the Ford dealer to to um, get that code for me. But that's not the case. Um, I don't know. For, I don't know. Um, you know, to which cars this might help. You know, the years. This is a 2011 Ford Edge Limited. Um, so. I have no idea, but um, the worst that could happen is, you know, you lose a, like five minutes of your time to, to um, to find out. And if it works well, then you know, I don't know how much you save, but it's pretty cool because you won't never get you know your keys locked inside the car. So um, you can see you can open the door, and down here there's this cover. Get this cover off. Okay, and as you can see, you got the fuses right here. The steering wheel, I mean. You're gonna find the fuse boxes, and up here, that. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Well, yeah, right there. See that little barcode and a zero three. The rest of them, the numbers got covered with tape. Um, because I didn't want you guys to see them. But um, that's a those that those numbers are the codes type those in into your door and your door should open unlock okay. again open the door go underneath remove that plastic cover and there's the code the barcode and the numbers it's as simple as that guys um if you got a ford edge similar ford edge i'm pretty sure that's 100 percent you know that that it'll work we tried it on the F-350 that I usually drive and since that truck was bought used we never got the code so they, um, my brother had it on that side so I don't remember if it was that side that side or this side from the from the F-250, F-350 so the main thing is find that I, don't, I really don't know what that part is called, the, the fuse block or or module I, I really don't know what that thing's called but most of you um, do know and for the people that don't know if you do know just put on the comment section below what that part module fuse box um, is called so other people could you know look for that exact same um, part in their car um, for an example let's say you have a an F-150, that's a 2012, and you need the code, but um, you don't know what that thing's called, it's, really, it's going to be really hard for you to find it, not knowing what you're looking for, but if that thing's, let's just say that thing's called the fuse box, okay, well then you're going to go in, look for the fuse box location on an F-150, but it's not a fuse box, or maybe it is, I don't know, Um, if you guys do know the name, what that is called, please put it on the on the comment section below, because that will help a lot of people. Now, I don't know what's the range of you know years that that might work. I don't know if it's gonna be from 2008 to the, all the way to brand new cars, all the way to 2018. Um, I really don't know, but it won't hurt for you guys to look for it or try, guys. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I have the Ford Edge, like I told you, and on on the Ford Edge on the touch screen, you could go in and 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 change that up I'm going to vehicle and then she there we go it's gonna be the third from the top to the bottom it says the, co the code and here's gonna ask you I don't know if you can see
speaking Spanish because my, like I told you, my my wife drives the car and she's more familiar with Spanish. So, um, but he's gonna ask you for your the original um, five digits that you have that you just found underneath there. So you're gonna type them right here, and then um, it'll get it in the system, and and um, you could change that to um to whatever numbers you want. You know, you could put your own um passcode. So it's a lot easier. Um, you could switch them, but as long as you type in first the first um, the original code, then you could switch everything else you want. Personalize your, your code. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope this thing helps. I it, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, um, don't forget to, to comment, like, and subscribe, guys. See you guys in the next video.